Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here before, thanks for popping in to check this one out. So guys, what I'm going to show you today is we're going to be working with WordPad, which is built into as far back as I can remember, literally probably every single Windows operating system there was. Um, and it's basically, uh, it's just a basic word processor. A lot of people use it that don't want to spend the money on getting Microsoft Office Suite or, you know, stuff like that. Um, and it's actually not bad if you're just doing simple word processing. Um, so it has one annoyance though. Um, if you go here to file, you see your recent documents here. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to clear these out because if you go in here, there's literally no way, like even if you right click this, there's no way to get rid of these. Whether it's you wanna get rid of one or all of them, there's no way to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm going to access the registry and you do that by going to your search bar down there or clicking start and type reg edit and hit enter. And this brings up your registry. Now you have to go to a specific path here in the registry. Um, instead of clicking through everything to get there, I'm gonna show you what it is. I've got that in this notebook up here or this text file. So go ahead and copy this, right, hit, right click and hit copy, close this out, and then put that in your address bar up here in the registry. Wipe out whatever is there and uh, right click and paste. So that is the file path or the registry path that we need to go to. So once we go to there, you see right away that these are the same documents that we saw in our recent file list in WordPad. So this is pretty easy to do. Now, chances are you wanna delete all these, but if you've just got one or two that you wanna delete, you can simply just right click on it, hit delete and hit yes, and you are done. Well, you will have to refresh the registry and I'll show you that how in a minute. Um, but so yeah, and you are done. This is if you just wanna do one or two of them, do the same thing and you're done. Um, but what you'll have to do after you delete them is just go here to view and click refresh or you can hit F5 on your keyboard. It does the same thing. But most people I feel are going to want to delete the whole list. And so here's how you do that. Very simple guys. Over here to your left, you have a recent file list. You simply right click, hit delete. And yes, we wanna delete this key and all of its sub keys. These are called sub keys here. And so we're gonna delete that. Now, as you can see, that is gone. Now, what we have to do is we have to refresh the registry. So go up to view and click refresh or hit F5 on your keyboard. That refreshes the registry and you'll close that out. So now when we reopen WordPad, we open that up. And if we have good luck here, all we do is click file. And you can see that those recent documents that were listed are now gone. Now that does not delete them out of your computer. They're still in your computer. It simply just re it just simply deletes the reflection of those files in your recent documents. So anyway, guys, that is it. Super simple tip for you today. If this was helpful to you, you know the drill, click that like button. And if you want to see more cool tips and tricks and fun Windows stuff and all that kind of computer jazz, get subscribed if you want. Thanks guys, have a good day.